So as we're all more than well aware, the folks over at IK Multimedia just last week released their new Tonex editor. This was a highly anticipated release. And as is the case with many new releases, especially an update of this magnitude, there is always a little bit of confusion and a lot of questions that arise from users who are trying to get the most out of it and just figure out a new workflow. I've done a couple videos about this already, but I'm still getting a lot of very particular questions questions that I wanted to do a real quick video today and really get to the bottom of two main points and two main questions that I have been receiving. So without further ado, we're going to dive in today to both Tonex Software and Tonex Editor. I'm going to talk about a couple things you really need to know before you use Tonex Editor. All right, so here I am over on my computer and I have a very specific window layout to be able to cover the topics I wanted to talk about today. So basically a quick rundown on my setup. I have my guitar here, which is my Gibson Les Paul Jr. <laughs> And that is plugged directly into my Tonex pedal, which you're not going to see on screen for this video. But I do have my white anniversary Tonex pedal over here on my desktop. And that is plugged into my computer. And basically, Tonex editor here is reflecting what you see on that. So when I'm playing any tones today, you're hearing my guitar plugged straight into the pedal out of the analog outputs into my audio interface. And that's how you're hearing the pedal recorded. So you're not going to be hearing anything from the Tonex software app. Now, down here in the bottom right hand, hand corner, I do have my Tonex software app, kind of made a little bit smaller just to fit on the screen real estate that I have. And up here I have an open finder window on my Mac, which is going to allow me to show you how to drag and drop and import different presets and talk a little bit about that because that's been a big question I've had. So first point I want to talk about today is something I've already talked about in another video, but it still seems to be a problem. A lot of folks seem to be under the impression that Tonex Editor was created to somehow replace Tonex software, and that could not be further from the truth. These are two independent apps. Now, I'm not interested in hearing comments about whether you think it should be one app or two apps. That's completely irrelevant for the topic at hand. What we have are two apps. We have Tonex Software, which is the original app. This is still the app we're going to use to create our tone models. And folks like myself who provide third-party tone models still utilize this to create our tone models. Tonex Editor is not going to do that. We're also going to have our Home tab, which is going to work just like it always did, where we're going to have tone models and presets. Really simple. If you don't have a Tonex One pedal or a Tonex pedal, the bigger version of it, the Tonex Editor is going to be useful to you. It's going to do nothing for you. In fact, if I unplug this from USB, you're going to see that the Tonex Editor app just basically goes blank. It doesn't have any Tonex pedal to communicate to. Tonex Editor is simply an app that is going to allow us to edit what is on Tonex Pedal or Tonex One Pedal. And you can see I plugged it back into USB and immediately it starts syncing the library back up. So we'll give that a second to get synced up. So I've had some questions about where do I assign the audio interface in Tonex Editor? Well, you don't. There is no ability to assign an audio interface simply because Tonex Editor was never designed to pass audio or to work standalone. It is simply a pedal editor. It's so that I can go up to my parameters here and move these around, save them, and edit the pedal without having to reach down and touch the physical pedal. And this is what had been asked for for so long, but so many people seem to think, now that we have Tonex Editor, that somehow Tonex Software down here in the right corner is irrelevant and obsolete, and maybe it's going away. And as I already mentioned, that couldn't be further from the truth. This is how we make our models, as I already mentioned. This is how somebody who doesn't own the pedal is going to utilize Tonex. We can still use this within a DAW, we can use it in the studio, Studio. We can use it to dial tones in and then still go over to the librarian and transfer them over to our pedal. So I don't know how to stress this enough because I've talked about this already, but so many folks keep reaching out with questions about, you know, where's the tuner? Why did they get rid of the demos? But they didn't get rid of anything. We can see here we still have a tuner. We still have our demo list here on our Tonex software. But those things were never planned to be on Tonex Editor because it's not passing any audio. It's not hooked up to an audio interface. It's 
It's not designed to do that. It's strictly designed to control the pedal. In fact, in my current setup, if I unplugged my audio outputs going into my audio interface, we wouldn't hear anything because as I said, Tonex Editor doesn't work with our audio interface. There's no way to hook it up to pass audio. It just simply controls Tonex pedal or Tonex one pedal. So that's really one of the most important points. I've been receiving numerous questions on a daily basis about this to the point where I, I can't even answer them all just because there's so many of them. So I'm trying to cover these in video. So please share this with everybody so that they can actually understand exactly what's going on. So we have two separate apps. We have Tonex app, software app, where we can still play our presets and our tone models utilizing an audio interface. And we would come up in here, we would assign our audio interface. We cannot do that in Tonex editor. So we can still use Tonex software app as a tone model and preset player and as a modeler where we will create our tone models. I guess if I was to take this outside of the Tonex ecosystem and use a different analogy, it would be quite similar to the Line 6 Helix setup where we have Line 6 Helix native, which is going to basically be all the amps and effects that we have on the Line 6 Helix hardware, but in a plugin, which we need to load into some sort of a VST host or a DAW so that we can utilize it. But Line 6 HX Edit is just the editing software for the hardware for HX Stomp or for Line 6 Helix, and that would be more like the Tonex editor. But it does not pass audio, and we can't hook it up to an audio interface for that purpose. So I'm just throwing that example out so that people understand the difference between between these two things. So now, as I've mentioned before, the one thing that is different on Tonex app is the librarian tab is gone and that has been moved up over here to Tonex editor. So when we do want to transfer back and forth between the pedal and the software library, we will need the librarian tab. So that brings up another point and the second point of today's video as I've been getting inundated with questions with folks asking about how we can transfer third-party tone models, such as the tone models that I would be making and providing on my website. The links are below to where you can go check out all of my tone models. And they've been asking, how do we get that into the pedal now? Well, there's a number of ways we can do this. So that's why I have this little window open up at the top here. I'm showcasing my J JS Vicious Kitty Ultimate and DI collection up here. It's a recent release that I have on my website that's based off of my incredible handware Bad Cat Cub 5 amplifier. What a beautiful amp. Really happy with the way these tone models came out. So if I come down to my software library here, the way we always used to get tones into Tonex, and I just want to show you, I'm just going to search for Vicious here, and you'll notice that nothing comes up. So none of these are loaded into my software library right now. So if I just X that off, we always could have, I'm going to do these one at a time. I've always been able to come over here and drag and drop presets down into Tonex software. And it shows up down here in my list. Now, what you will notice is that when we come over to Tonex editor, we could now come in here and search for Vicious. And you'll notice that that now shows up here. You'll notice here if I take the second tone model, drag that down. Oh, look at that. It updates the library here on the software, but it also automatically updates the software portion of the library over here on Tonex Editor. Now that is not on the pedal yet. If I wanted that on the pedal, I would have to take it and drag it over onto the pedal in an empty slot. And we'll do that right now. So I can drag that over as such. It's going to sync. I could take this second one and drag it over as well. Since I am monitoring off of my pedal, I could now select one of those and play around with it. And I could come over to my editor tab and I can do whatever I want with that. I could add some delay to it if I so desire. And I could save that. Now, 
What happens here is if I save this, one of the questions is, let's come here and make a change to this. Let's come and we'll just crank the gain up and we've added delay, so we save this. Now, this is saved to our pedal. This has not changed the preset over here in the software library. As you can see, when I access this, the gain isn't up here and there's no delay added even though we have that saved on our pedal preset. So there is no auto save function so that it updates our software library. So coming back over to the librarian then, we now have this Vicious Kitty 12AX7 II preset on our pedal with those changes, but over here, it does not have those changes. If we wanted to get this back to our software library, we can simply drag and drop it. Now watch what happens. You might think it's gonna overwrite this preset. Let's try it out. We drag that over, but Tonex does what I feel is a smart thing. It takes that preset and it adds a dash zero one to it. Let's say we come back over here and we make another change to it. Save it again. I drag that over to here and it's going to never overwrite. It's going to give me an amended name to differentiate the changes. And you'll notice over here in my software library, those showed up and you'll notice the gain knob is changing. So if we do make changes on the Tonex pedal editor and we save that to the pedal and we wanna back it up, we can just drag and drop it. So that's an important thing to know is that when we do make changes on the pedal and save them, via the editor, it doesn't automatically update our software library. And remember, when we're in the editor librarian, the left-hand side here is our pedal side. This is showing what's on our pedal, and the right-hand side is our software library as it's clearly labeled up here. Now, what about if we just do not have Tonex software open? Let's say we're utilizing just the editor. One big question that I've received is, how can I import third-party tone malls, such as the ones I have up here in the top right corner, my Vicious Kitty Ultimate and DI collection, how can I import those to the pedal? Well, there's gonna be kind of a two-step process here. You'll notice if I go to one that I don't have on there, 12 ax 73 I can take this and I can skip and just bypass altogether loading it onto Tonex software first. I can just come in here and drag it anywhere inside of the Tonex editor app. Now, what you're gonna notice is I have this into my software library and it also appears over here in the software. Not that we needed the software open to do this, but it's just going to appear there, which is kind of nice. It's now part of our software library. So we can make those drag and drop additions to our Tonex software library right from the editor. Some folks have asked, well, can I just drag it directly to the pedal? Now let's try that. Let's take one that we don't have in there. I'm gonna drag it over to the pedal side and you'll notice that the software library updates, but the pedal side does not. Same as if we're over here in the editor. Let's take one we don't have in there. I'm gonna move this over here. I'm gonna drag that over. Now you'll notice nothing changes on the pedal, but it does add it to our software library. So basically by dragging any of these into the editor anywhere, it's gonna add it to our software library. From there, if we so desire, we can take these and we can add these over here by dragging them across from the software library to the pedal library. I'll say that yes, I want to overwrite those. Then we can head over to editor, grab our guitar, and start messing around with our tone right on our pedal now. And if we like the changes we make, we can hit save. That will be saved only to our pedal. And we do have the ability to drag that back with those changes to our software library with the slight number change to the preset. All right, there you have it. What do you guys think? I hope that that was useful. And I hope that that puts to rest some of the questions that I was getting over and over again. Kind of helps people to just get on with utilizing Tonex Editor. I think it's a really great update. And a lot of folks are very, very happy with it. And I hope that the answers I gave today help you to improve your workflow utilizing the new Tonex Editor. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to leave you today with a demo video for one of my latest tone model collections. The links to any of the tones you hear at the end of the video or that you heard today will be below if you're 
so inclined and want to grab a copy, and I do appreciate that very much. So please like the video, share it with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it, and also please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content, or I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so much for sharing your time with me. Enjoy the music on the way out. Ciao for now.